everybody, it's Ace 2000 and I'm here with Penelope the Brown Dog. And if you guys can't tell, which you probably could, I don't sound too happy. Yeah, because I'm not. And if you guys don't already know, I have a video up and it's called What? Yeah. Um, it's about me telling a story about how evil my gym teacher is. Well, yeah, I just don't want you guys, to, um, I don't want you guys to think that, like, I'm, like, overreacting and stuff like that. Because I'm not. And this stuff barely even happy happens to me. But it wasn't my gym teacher this time. It was a stupid classmate. Stupid. Capital S. Yeah. I hate him. He's been in um, my class pretty much, not all of them, just pretty much ever since kindergarten. And then we went to the same school together again. And I'm, like, ripping my hair out because I hate the kid. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys a story, sort of, kind of, like, whatever, okay, about my school day and stuff, but I'm going to be using Penelope's name, and no, that's not my name, so yeah, and if you're wondering, this is just like a paper cut, okay, yeah. Um, so, I was in school today, and we were switching from social studies to writing class, and stuff like that, and in the hallway, this kid that I told you that I hate, he walks by this teacher, and, um, actually not a teacher, sorry, um, my my vice principal, because he's, like, the one who does all, like, the, uh, like, the, like, if the kids are bad, he, like, punishes them and stuff like that, not the real principal, he does all the work and stuff like that, but, um, so he goes up to the principal and tells him, and I'm, like, and he goes, five other kids and Penelope, um, five other kids, I don't want to tell you their names, because I'm not allowed to, um, um, he goes, so five other kids and Penelope were saying that they were going to stalk me. And I was like flipping out. One, I would never stalk the kid if I hate him. Two, I don't even know where he lives. And why would I even care where he lives? And three, I just hate the kid, period. Like, why would I even bother wasting my own time stalking a freaky kid that I hate? So, no, I would never stalk anybody. So, I was, like, flipping out. And the principal goes, is this true? I go, absolutely not. He goes, I go, if you don't believe me, I said, you can ask the five other kids. I said, I did not say anything about that. Because that stupid kid sits at my lunch table, and he probably heard me say stalk. Because I did, but I didn't say anything about his name in it. So, this is what happened. At lunch a couple weeks ago, I was sitting there with my two friends, and he sits at my lunch table, so I was telling my two friends, there was, like, this freaky pigeon on top of, like, this car, and then the squirrel was on the bottom, and I was like, that squirrel is completely stalking that bird, he's gonna eat it, uh, and me and my friends were, like, laughing our butts off and stuff like that, so then he, this kid tends to switch the words, or switch them on pur purpose, like, not hear them correctly, and so he probably did that at lunch, so that's probably when he heard that I said I was gonna stalk him when I didn't say anything like that, and I don't even know how you can, like, mistake that as something, so yeah, okay, so then the principal's like, okay, since the principal knows that, like, this kid has lied his butt off ever since he was born, the principal, of course, believed me. And I was, like, so happy because the kid's, like, he was flipping out now. He was, like, what the heck? He goes, I swear, I heard it out of her mouth. He's, like, I heard her say that she was going to stalk me. And I was, like, what the heck's wrong with you? I was ready to, like, kick him in the shin or whatever because I hate him. He stabbed me in the finger with a pencil in first grade on this finger, but you can't really see it. It's, like, there's, like, a bump right here. But it's covered up with the band-aid because that was from, like, a long time ago. And it's kind of by my fingernail. But I was, like, flipping out. And I don't know about you guys, but if you were in that situation and you knew something was wrong, but the other kid said it was right, and, I mean, I knew the principal, like, n knew what I was talking about. I don't know. But if he didn't, if he believed the other kid, I would have, like, screamed my head off because I hate that kid. And he gets away with everything because he's an only child and his parents love him to death. And even if he does get in trouble, like, um, in second grade, he punched this girl in, in the face. He's a boy. And he punched a girl in the face and gave her a black eye. Yeah. Yeah, and it was after school. So... Because she was, like, running away from him because she was, like, freaking out because he was, like, so mad at her or whatever because she he wanted to date her or whatever, and she said no. And he was, like, flipping out, so she was, like, screaming and running away, but she was, like, pretending because she was with her friends, and he came out of nowhere and punched her in the face. And I was, like, flipping out because I was there when I saw because she's, like, my best friend, and I felt so bad for her because the kid's, like, extremely ugly. I don't know about you, but, yeah, he's ugly. Uh, but, yeah.
Okay, so sorry about this really weird story that I had to tell you guys. I had to tell you guys. I mean, I told my mom and I was, like, flipping out even more because I was, like, I'm, like, a really good student. I don't do anything like that. So that's why the principal believed me why I would never do something like that. And I was, like, really happy. I'm, like, thank you, principal. I've never been to the principal's office before. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Comment if you think that was fair or unfair. Or tell me even why the heck you would think a kid would do that. And, no, he does not like me. He hates my guts. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.